Okay, so now we come up with these some some rules, event re uh, relations and probability rules. So um, sometimes the events of interest can be formed as a combination of several other events. So uh, let A and B be two events defined on the sample space S. Here are three important relationships between the events. So remember that the events are sets. So therefore we can talk about the union of the two sets. So the, the union of events A and B, which is denoted by this symbol, A union B, is the event that either A or B occurs. And the intersection is this, and it's the event that both A and B occur. And the complement of an event, and uses this symbol, is the event that A does not occur. Let's look at the pictures, makes it easy to see these. So we have the sample space here, and then we have some event, which is some group of simple events, and we have, or I, I like to say actually, I think it's easier and better to say that it, an event is just a subset of the sample space. So here A is some subset of the sample space. So that's that's the definition of event that I use, not that this book uses, but. So here's an event, and here's another event, another subset of the sample space. And what do we mean by the union of the two events? We mean this collection here, the whole thing here. Okay, that's called the union. And what do we mean by the intersection? Well, same. so we have an event A, an event B. The intersection is this, the things that they have in common. And what do we mean by the complement? of an event, which is denoted A uh, C, and that here's the event here's the event A, and the complement is everything outside of A, everything not in A. So if uh, well, okay, so so here's what it so the union is the event that either A or B both occur or both occur. So let's go back to here. So if A union B occurs, it means that at least something in here must have occurred. So either something in A or in B or in both A and B. And the next definition was uh, the event that A and B both occur. So that means something in here had to occur because something in here happens, then we would say that A happened and something in here occurred we would also say that B happened, so they both happened. And here, if something happens out here, means that A did not occur. For example, suppose A was, suppose this was tossing a die, a single die, and we had like one and two are in A, and three, four, five, and six are outside A. So A is the event of getting a one or a two. So if we get uh, something other than one or two, we would say that A did not occur. If we got like a four, we wouldn't say that A occurred. So something, so uh, it's, so if something in the complement of A, this is called the complement of A, the blue area, it's called the complement of A, then, um, then A does not occur. So the complement of A denoted by that is the event that A does not occur. So two fair coins are tossed and the outcome is recorded. These are the events of interest. Observe at least one head. So there's a, we talk about an event, the event of getting at least one head. So what is, by the way, what does that mean, at least one? What does that phrase mean? It means you get one or more. In this case, you can't get more than two. You only need to toss two coins. So it means you get one or two. Okay? And observe, and B is observe at least one tail. So that is one or two tails. Okay, so we have two different events. One is getting at least one head, and the other one is getting at least one tail. Two different events. Now, since we have two different events, we can talk about the intersection of the two events. We can talk about the union of the two events, or we could talk about like the complement of one of the events. Okay, so what do we mean by A intersect B? It means that both of them occurred. 
Well, for, it would be nice to see what A is and what B is. So recall from example 4.5 that the simple events for this experiment are HH, HT, TH, and TT. Remember we did that with the tree. Event A is at least one head. So which of these has at least one head? Well, this one doesn't have at least one head, but the others do. So E1, E2, E3. So A consists of E1, comma E2, comma E3. Probability of A is three fourths, because there's four possibilities. There's three fourths. So um, and the complement of A is the things that are not in A. So three of the simple events are in A, so there's only one of them which is not. So it's E4. So the probability of this one, of the complement of A, is one fourth. Right? Because there's only one thing there. One event there. And now we can do the same thing for B. B was getting what? Uh, at least one tail. So what? where do we have at least one tail? Well, we don't have that here. But the other ones we do, so there's so it's E2, E3, E4. So B is E2, E3, E4. Probably B is 3 fourths. Probably so A intersect B is what? Well, A was 1, 2, 3, and B was 2, 3, 4, so the intersection is 2, 3. So E2, E3, union is this one, is everything actually. Right? E1, E2, E3, E4, that's all of them. That's all possibilities. So probability of B was 3 fourths. Probability of A intersect B is 2 fourths, or 1 half. Probability of A union B is 4 over 4, which is 1. So A union B has to happen, right? If you toss two coins, you have to get either at least one head or at least one tail. It's not possible to get for that not to happen. So it's a, it's called a certain event. It has to happen. It's a certain event. They say note that A union B is the whole sample space and thus is certain to occur. The concepts of unions and intersections can be extended to more than two events. For example, the union of three events, A, B, and C, which is written A union B union C, is the set of simple events that are in A or B or C or any combination of those events. Similarly, the intersection of three events A, B, C, the intersection is written A intersect B intersect B is, is C, is the collection of simple events that are common to the three events A, B, and C. Okay, so now that we understand what we mean by union, intersection, and complement, how can we uh, use those to help us do calculations of probabilities.